Hi guys, this is Kieran Guy here. Sometimes I know it's hard to, if you're not a drummer, to program the drums in and then give them groove. So the reason I had this really cool uh, feature called um, Regroove. And what you can basically do is adjust the drums in a certain way to make them feel a little bit more funky or real or um, just not as straight as you may, you may want them to be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna program a sort of famous uh, beat um, from a hip hop song. Uh, maybe you can leave in the comments what song it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this I'm gonna put this beat down, lay this beat down onto the track. So you uh, right hand click, and you copy pattern to track. So you got it here. I'm just gonna shorten that down because you don't need it that big. So that's down on the track. Then what you wanna do, pattern two, put the snares in now. Select the snare. A little trick that I used to tell my brother to get the snare on a two and four is to pull it on, I believe, five and 13. So you can hear that sort of five and 13. It's a standard like two and four placement. But uh, for this beat, it's slightly different. You should already know what beat this is. What's good about Reason is it, it actually puts it in a separate lane for you, which is really nice. So then you can, if you wanted to mute it, you can mute it basically. Okay, we're gonna just stick to that for now. Um, I think I'm gonna add in one more kick beat to that. So yeah, so I'm just gonna add that one in. Take the enable playback off because then they're gonna be playing at the same time. It sounds okay, but it just sounds straight. Like you can tell it's just like a robot playing it, so. What you want to do is uh, look at this uh, regroove mixer, which is really cool. You can see it's got A1, A2, A3. There's some, you know, gr template grooves on here already. But what I want to do is, uh, I'll probably just use three of them for now. Um, I want to default this to put it back to. Um, Initialize so then basically there's nothing on there at all. So what I want to do is I'll start with a kick first and I'll pull it on A1. So now A1, as you can see, we have a slide and we have a shuffle. So what the slide does is if you imagine the click, you've got a click on. If you push it one way, it slides the beat sort of behind the click. So I'm gonna put it super extreme so you can hear what it sound like. So you can hear it, it's like, it's like it's delayed. If I pull it the other way, it's too early now. You get what I'm saying? So if you imagine like, a, a, you know, a human playing drums, even the best of drummers are not perfect. So this can help you sort of give it that real human feel. So we're gonna make it just a little bit, a tiny bit behind. 
and then also now you have the shuffle dial and um, that will stop it from being straight basically if you have something like ba boom cat ba boom cat it will make it ba boom cat ba boom cat it will bring some of the notes closer together so I'm going to put someone I'll pull it extreme again so you can hear the So you can hear that it's just ridiculously just weird so we'll pull it back a bit see now you can hear that this it doesn't it's still not sitting quite right because obviously nothing else has got any groove on it everything else is still straight and the kick the kick is you know got all the the re-groove on it so we're going to use the snare one now and use a2 for the snare so again I'll take the click off it's a bit annoying we're going to push the snare back a bit you can see that's a little bit too delayed we'll pull it back a bit put a bit of shuffle in there I'm going to bring the snare a little bit forward actually do this way Starting to, starting to get there now if you can hear it also I thought about the kick at the top let's put the kick at the top with the first one and you can hear that's grooving a bit more better now I'm going to put a little bit more shuffle in the kick I think So we've got a basic beat there now. It's got a nice sort of bounce to it. Let's put some hi-hats in there. And what I'm gonna do as well with this one is that I'm going to actually make it feel real by um, actually accenting the downbeat, which means like the first beat, that's a one, two, three, four. So we're gonna select one, five, 13 and 9 so if I play that 1 2 3 4 so you can basically hear it's on the downbeat it's on the downbeat of every count and then another great trick is now to turn it to medium or even soft but I'm going to do medium for now and then fill in the gaps so you can hear there's a a different a different feel so it's not not every note is the same da, 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 da. when you play drums um, or if you see a drummer they will either ac accent the downbeat or accent the upbeat it gives it a completely different feel I'm gonna pull it on soft so then the downbeat is a little bit more prominent So let's put that to the track now. Let's take that off again. So now you're thinking, what could we do to that hi-hat? Because it's pretty straight. Shuffling won't work on this because it's got it doesn't have enough notes. It's basically playing in eighth notes. If it's sixteenth notes, then it will shuffle. So uh, we're gonna use the third spot here. So if you can see on the regroove, A3. So what I could do, again, I could slide it, make it come forward. You hear that, that sounds crazy, it doesn't sound right at all. Or super delayed. So we're gonna pull it back. So I've dragged it back a bit, so it's just sitting a bit nicer now. That's 
sounding great. Right, one more thing. Well, I've got two more things. I might put a clap, a clap in there. Um, but what I'm going to do is put a little open hi hat in there. If I can get find one on here quickly. So, let's uh, play the track. Put it, to, uh, put it to medium because it sounds quite aggressive. Let's change the length of it. that in now and copy pattern to track again one more instrument clap that does not sound nice <laughs> so let's uh, find a normal clap yeah that's fine for now so j this one's going to be on every snare hit so we'll enable that again we play it so remember I said about 5 and 13 5 and 13 and obviously the, uh, the for this beat it's actually not on 5 and 13 it's going to be on 12 and 15 this is alright we can we can work with this now you could do you could do something pretty clever where you don't make the hi-hats and the snare sync up exactly so then you'd have a sort of flam sound um where it's like they're just slightly apart and it just it just makes it sound a bit fatter if you if you know what i mean um so we'll just add that one to the track take it off so we got that here. Great, that's sounding cool. What we could do with this one, let's uh let's put that one back to default again. Initialize it. So we've got A4, let's use A4 now. And uh as you see on uh A2 was the setting for the snare and I'm just having a look at roughly where I pull it so I'm gonna do something a little bit similar to A2 but maybe just not as extreme so it will just so can you hear that that the, the clap is like just slightly before the snare I'm gonna shuffle it a little bit more I'm gonna pull it back a little bit go you got you know a more groovy beat i'm gonna take i'm gonna take off all the um take off all the regroove settings again so you can basically hear where so i'll just you know turn it off turn off turn off turn off turn off well i'm not using a5 but 
Yeah, so now listen to it with, without it. So you can hear the difference. This is very straight. It sounds cool. If you like that thing, if you like straight stuff, that's fine. But sometimes you want it to just groove a little bit more, feel a little bit more natural. So we'll put it back on again. You can hear the difference. So the same way that you can uh, use the regroove to, you know, make a beat uh, more funkier, more real, more groovy. Um, it's the same way you can do that to a bass and the, or just uh, many instruments in a reason, and um, it just makes the the record sound a bit more real, like just not programmed, not not super programmed, because sometimes. You know, when you're when you're programming a track, it just doesn't have no feeling to it. And uh, when you add the groove, when you add the human element to it, it gives it that feeling. You know, it doesn't just seem, seem like someone just pressed some buttons and a computer sort of put something together. Well, that's the end of the tutorial. Um, I hope this has helped you. As my brother would say, happy beat making. <laughs>